the famous Roman historian Cassius Dio. Lucius Cassius Dio, also known as Dio Cassius, was a Roman historian and senator of maternal Greek origin. He published 80 volumes of the history on ancient Rome, beginning with the arrival of Aeneas in Italy, which was a Greek hero. The volumes documented the subsequent founding of Rome in 753 BC, the formation of the Republic in 509 BC, and the creation of the Empire in 27 BC, up until 229 AD. Written in ancient Greek over 22 years, Dio's work covers approximately a thousand years of history. Many of his 80 books have survived intact or as fragments, providing modern scholars with a detailed perspective on Roman history. Lucius Cassius Dio was the son of Cassius Aprianus, a Roman senator and member of the gens Cassia, who was born and raised at Nicaea in Bithynia. Byzantine tradition maintains that Dio's mother was the daughter or sister of the Greek orator and philosopher Dio Chrysostom. However, this relationship has been disputed. Although Dio was a Roman citizen, he wrote in Greek. Dio always maintained a love for his hometown of Nicaea, calling it his home, as opposed to his description of his villa in Italy, my residence in Italy. For the greater part of his life, Dio was a member of the public service. He was a senator under Commodus and governor of Smyrna following the death of Septimus Severus. He became a Suffolk consul in approximately the year 205. Dio was also proconsul in Africa and Pannonia. Severus Alexander held Dio in the highest esteem and reappointed him to the position of consul, even though his caustic nature irritated the Praetorian Guard, who demanded his life. Following his second consulship, while in his later years, Dio returned to his native country, where he eventually died. Dio was either the grandfather or great-grandfather of Cassius Dio, a consul in 291. Dio published a Roman history in 80 books after 22 years of research and labor. The books cover a period of approximately 1400 years, beginning with the tales from Roman mythology of the arrival of the legendary Aninus in Italy, and the founding of Rome by his descendant Romulus, as well as the historic events of the Republican and Imperial heirs through 229 AD. The work is one of only three written Roman sources that document the British revolt of 60 to 61 AD led by Boudicca and the subsequent defeat of Boudicca. Until the 1st century BC, Dio provides only a summary of events. After that period, his accounts become more detailed. From the time of Commodus, Dio is very circumspect in his conveyance of the events that he witnessed. The version of Dio's work that survives today is quite composite since his history does not survive in its entirety. Dio's work has often been depreciated as unreliable and lacking any overall political aim. Recently, however, some scholars have reevaluated his work and have highlighted his complexity and sophisticated political and historical interpretations. Thanks for watching. If it's more interesting, you can find it here.